here at the 2013 Seaside Invitational in Ventura, California with Tim Sharp, boys cross country coach and girls cross country coach over at Harvard Westlake High School. Lizzie Thomas, winner of the Junior Girls Race. You mentioned her, about her in the past. In talking with her, she mentioned she's probably, as a senior, maybe only had maybe at most 10 races in her career in cross country because of injuries. You'd always mention she was one to watch. Today we saw a little bit today. Yeah. Give us a little bit of background on her and you know basically what she's capable of this year, you think? You know, I knew I knew when we got her she'd run a bit when she was young. So she'd done some 5Ks and 10Ks when she was like 11 and 12. And I, I think she had gone 18.49, 5K, and something, you know, ridiculous, like 36, something in the 10K. So I knew that coming in, so clearly she was pretty good. But like I said, you know, she, she had, or like she said, she had some injuries, and we've just been managing it, trying to do the best we can with cross training, trying to get her healthy. But uh, you know, if we're talking, her super sweet kid. Yes. It's just she's got a heart for it, and she's wanted this for so long. And so I just couldn't be more proud for her. But you know, the last couple of years, you know, it's finally coming together. She got consistent with uh, the training. Um, you know, I, I can't understate how important it was having girls like Cammy and Amy to look up to because she saw how it's done. Mm -hmm. And so she's, you know, she's put in that work. She had that great example, and she does great work. You know, and she's really been um, consistent, getting that mileage up. Uh, as far as understanding the levels, when we do the threshold work, we do things like that. She just hits all the notes right, and she's learned how to rest, and you need to rest. It's got to help that she's very, very bright as well. I understand oh. the girls at Stanford talk about how smart she is, <laughs> yeah. which probably you know, gives some, some insight as to how quickly she can process things pretty much. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, she's got an elite level understanding. Um, you know, we're able to talk about you know, we have a, a formula that we use on our team. We're using our cross training because we want to make sure that we're doing at least the effect of the volume that we seek, even if it's not the actual uh, running volume. So in a week where the running volume might be 40 miles, we have a formula that we uh, work with where we account for elliptical volume, swimming volume, right. things like that. A person like her, you know, she she gets that. She's on it. Um, you can't say enough about you know how bright she is. One other change Tim I noticed is in the past when I'd see her and wouldn't be that often because again she was injured a bit. Yeah. But she used to have a very pronounced lean. It's like her her form has gotten better and she mentioned that you guys have addressed that. Rich, I'm so glad you mentioned that. <laughs> no, you know my kids will tell you we're we're sticklers uh, about mechanics. Um, you know I I take time every day uh, to make sure that I'm at least talking to five six kids uh, individually either about something new or something that we've been working on. Hey, you know, we are talking about posture, and, you know, Lizzie has been on that warpath. Uh, so it's great that you noticed that. Uh, I'm sure she'll be tickled, you know, to hear that you see the improvement, because she's been working hard at it, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes change comes really rough. I think when you've been running a certain way and right. been successful in the past, it's hard to let something go. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and I think, you know, as a program, we do a good job with helping kids navigate that. But no, you're absolutely right. Lizzie's done a fantastic job of correcting her posture, um, getting a little bit looser in the shoulders, and I'm sure the mechanics are helping as well. You mentioned last year during track and field season, keep an eye on us in cross country. We're pretty strong. You can see the pieces coming together. You can see what you have returning. And of course, you know, another year another belt of training and bring them along nicely. What do you think is possible with this year's teams, both boys and girls? Oh, goodness. I I'm a super hopeful guy. <laughs> uh, I always believe that, you know, every year we got a shot. Um, I feel real good about our, our look. I mean, I think we're top three, you know, kind of a program on both sides. But I'm smart enough to know that injuries have kept us from goals that we've set before. Um, strange things, you know, can happen. So I'm just hoping that we stay healthy. But I absolutely believe in our ability that we have. And I, I think we're, we're going to be a, a player. All right. Once again, a very good start here at the 2013 Seaside Invitational. Coach Tim Sharp, head coach at Hard Westlake High School.